Hi guys, today I've got back for you of which I had never heard before. Um, I'd never seen her or any of her family and I had to ask somebody um, to give me a name. For uh, and they didn't make up that name. They gave me a name uh, of what she's called, and then I was able to Google her and thought, "Oh right, okay, so that's what she's called." And she's called Beatrice. Um, now, when I googled Beatrice, Mulberry Beatrice, um, I found something called Mulberry Beatrice Toad, and that had a sorry Mulberry Beatrice Hobo, and that had a thicker strap across here very much like the the Mitzi hobo that sort of chunky strap that gets attached either side there um, now this one has a slightly different strap and by the logic that Mulberry normally applies I would guess that this is therefore the Beatrice um, toad now what I absolutely love about this is um, I don't know whether you've seen um, one of my sort of conversion videos where I show how to convert the strap on the Alexa or the strap on the Sophia Hobo, uh, Sophia Messenger um, into a Hobo strap. But essentially, that's what they're, that's a function that they've provided here uh, without any um, sort of creativity by, by, the, by the purchaser needed. Essentially, um, the strap is doubled up here on this one. Um, and that's done by it being fed through a loop here and then with the clamp being attached here. So you've got it doubled up and she sits really nicely um, right underneath your, your arm, um, really easy to access. Now, if I do what I just did, unhook her there and take it all the way off, then it's loose and then I can just attach it to this one here and then and you know that I get excited about this you can wear a crossbody how great is that I think that's I almost said a bad word there I think that's really really good I think that's brilliant um, so yes I've, as I said never come across that um, never come, come across any other bags where that function is and never come across the Beatrice. The leather is um, feels really robust. I think it might be some sort of buffalo or something. Um, because yeah, it feels, it doesn't feel like um, goat, it doesn't feel delicate. Um, I would guess that it's buffalo. Um, this one I would say is probably the sort of the saddle leather because it's it's thicker and it's it's a bit harder. But this one I would guess it's a buffalo. Um, then she closes with a magnetic um, closure on the top here, like the Mitzi's. Um, interior is tree-lined fabric. Um, on the back we've got a sippy pouch. On the front we've got a slip pocket and that's about it. So, um, shall we take some measurements? Right, because she is shaped irregularly, I'm just going to measure across the bottom, which is the widest part here. And that is 30, 37 and a half centimeters across there. And the height, 35 centimeters. So, but obviously, as I said, it's not 37 by 35. You can see she's belted in, she has a bit of a waist there. Um, and she sort of curves out, but um, it's a really nice size, I think, to chuck things in, but not to lose everything in. So let's just pop in sort of my daily going to work stuff, and we'll see we'll have plenty of space left in there. But um, let's just try out whether she'll be too empty um, to carry, whether that looks silly. Sometimes a big bag or a medium-sized bag looks really stupid if you don't have much in there. So, um, sorry, I've put it in. <laughs> my multi-sip pouch with um, the various bits and bobs that I carry around, um, charger cable, tampons, lip cream, uh, pens, that kind of stuff. Then I've got my personal size Filofax. Actually, I rather like this combination of those two colours, so I don't know whether you can see it. It's sort of like a taupey pink colour, like a nudish. And then this one is a, um, I don't know whether that's the mulberry pink. Um, but. Yeah, I quite like that actually together. Anyway, and then this one is like a, an eggplanty kind of, which again looks really nice against that. And then my French purse in oak. 
And then I've got my tissues, my ticket, uh, my pass for work and my train tickets, which we will put in the sippy pocket in the back. There we go. My phone will put in a slip pocket in the front and my inhaler. Um, actually, that would be probably a really good size to take into work because we still have a fair amount of space in there. So what you could do in there, put in there is probably um, a sandwich or um, a small bottle of water or a book if you read on your commute. Um, and it wouldn't be too stuffed, but at the same time, if you come home in the evening and your bottle or your, your sandwich isn't in there anymore, it's not too full either. Uh, sorry, too empty either. And then, she sits quite nicely like this. And let's double up the strap again. Just make sure we don't twist it it's a bit nicer if it lies flat then. Here we go. Yes, really rather nice. What I didn't show in detail earlier, so you've got the sort of belt going around which gives the illusion of a waist um, and then almost like a belt buckle in the front here with the mulberry tree. Um, and then you've got two buckles either side, but that's sewn in. You can't really, that's really just purely decorative. And the strap goes, or the belt goes all the way around. And again, it's fixed on the back here. So yes, um, mulberry beer trees, I guess it's a tote because of the um, convertible long strap, short strap might be called um, Beatrice Messenger. I tried to find something online earlier and I couldn't. I just know it's called Beatrice. So we're guessing Toad or Messenger. Um, anyway, <laughs> my usual ramblings. Hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.